LWC News Magazine has been tracking Dakota Meyer. He's been on many shows and also received the Medal of Honor at the White House. We've been watching him locally and he even read at Adair County High School. Also, Lindsey Wilson College looks at growth over the campus. We look at Charity Ferguson, an alumni and employee, and she tells us more about the change on campus. And lastly, we take a look at sports with women's soccer season in, in full motion. Drew Burwash is our Coach's Corner coach this month. Lindsay Wilson College News Magazine gives you a first glance. Welcome to the third edition of the Lindsay Wilson College News Magazine, covering your community and campus news at noon and 7. I'm Stephanie Tarter, joined with Emily Ramage. This is your November edition. So Emily, you're new to the show. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm currently a sophomore at Lindsay Wilson College, and I'm majoring in communication. And I thought the Lindsay Wilson College News Magazine was a great opportunity. Well, we sure are glad to have you, and I know this is your first time and your very first newscast, so it's an exciting start. Well, we start, as usual, with our 4 and 4. That's where we bring you the main events of the month, all in the first four minutes. These are our top events, and they're happening on campus and in your community. First off, the Lindsay Wilson players will put on their fall production, The Crucible, that's by Arthur Miller. That's on November 2nd at the VP Henry Auditorium. Students are free for tickets and just $3 for faculty and staff. General public, it's $5 per ticket. For tickets and more information, contact col the college at info at And if you're interested in viewing a free movie, RAVE, SGA, and the Student Activities Board are all hosting Movie Night at Green River Cinemas. The event is on November 8th, and the first 100 Lindsay Wilson College students to show up actually receive free admission. For more information, you can contact Jane Hopkins at hopkinsj at lindsay.edu. If you're looking for a fun and entertaining uh, place to go, think Lindsay Wilson College again. The Student Activities Board is also, as well as LIFE, are hosting The Illusionist, Brock Gill. The event will begin on November 16th at 7 p.m. That'll be in the VP Henry Auditorium as well. For more information, contact Jane Hopkins at hopkinsj at lindsay.edu. Lastly, on November 19th, Lindsay Wilson College is hosting the Ice Series Night Racing at Churchill Downs. The cost is $15 per person, and you can sign up a week before the event. Sign up is in the Cranmer Dining Center atrium. Well, those are the main events of the month, all in the first four minutes, and that concludes our four and four. Well, Many events have been happening around here the past three months to honor Sergeant Dakota Meyer. When we come back, LWC News Magazine Shahid Igbul tells us about some of these special moments. And that wraps up our... Come visit your neighborhood Napa Auto Parts store. We've got everything you need to keep your vehicle running smooth. You can stop in at one of our three stores in Russell Springs, Columbia, or Campbellsville. We're your one-stop shop for all your automotive needs. Dad, where does breakfast come from? Mom? Um, in a faraway land, there is the kingdom of breakfast. Every morning, giants go on a long journey and make a delivery to some breakfast wizards. They use magic wands to turn everything hot and tasty. And before you know it, you've got a hot and delicious breakfast. So, where did I come from? The simple joy of a real breakfast. We just got a DVR. That's digital. Di digital. Digital. Digital video recorder. It records everything at the push of a button. Sports, movies, even the History Channel. It's so easy, even my mom could do it. Now I don't have to worry about missing cartoons when I have homework. You can stop it and go back. Dad says it's better than the VHS. Whatever that is. Upgrade to a DVR from Duo County and get your first month free. Thanks for staying with us and welcome back to the community segment of LWC News Magazine. We begin this segment with a look back at a very memorable event, Helping Families in Need. It is the Ronald McDonald House Wish List event, sponsored by Columbia and Adair County Chamber of Commerce, as well as Action Generation. 
The Columbia and Adair County Chamber of Commerce, as well as Action Generation, collected approximately $10,000 worth of supplies. Yes, you heard me right. $10,000 worth of supplies and donations from Adair and surrounding counties. That's an amazing feat. The supplies and donations were split between the Lexington and Louisville Ronald McDonald House Charities. You can see some of our local natives there, as well as some Lindsey Wilson College volunteers. The event was amazing and, of course, continued to help both the Lexington and Louisville areas. Again, that was the Ronald McDonald House Charities. Well, since September, Dakota Meyer has been on the David Letterman Show, 60 Minutes, and he received the Medal of Honor at the White House. Shahid Igbul has covered the last three months, and here's the story. Sergeant Dakota Meyer received the Medal of Honor on September 15th from President Barack Obama. Students at LWC got to view it from a live feed in the Cranmer Dining Center. Students, faculty, and staff were emotionally moved by the efforts of a local hero, Sergeant Dakota Meyer. I'm so proud of Dakota. <laughs> just the whole setting, just to, to realize that he's at the most important place in the United States of America with the President and others who received that honor, it was, it was very touching. And I didn't realize until today how big it really is. <laughs> well, it was nice being able to watch Dakota Meyer to get the Medal of Honor by Barack Obama here in the CAF. And it was really emotional, and I was I'm glad I got to see it, actually. The people of Columbia, Kentucky are proud of Dakota Meyer and his accomplishments, as it shows here on his Facebook page. Ever since Sergeant Meyer received the honor, he has continued to give back to his country. He has partnered with the Marine Corps Scholarship Foundation to raise $1 million by the Foundation's 50th anniversary, which will be in 2012. He has also issued a challenge to America to match his efforts and raise an additional $1 million to honor Marines by educating their children. This has been Shahid Iqbal reporting for LWC News Magazine. Sergeant Meyer also read books to children at the annual Hallow Read at Adair County High School. He continues to serve his community and his community continues to welcome him with open arms. Well, Lindsay Wilson College has done it again. That is continuing to give back to the community. Since last school year, the Center for Entrepreneurship has been providing seminars for small business owners. This is a way to encourage entrepreneurship in the area. It is a free event, and the seminar series includes topics like business communication, marketing, accounting, tax, and contract law. Most recently, they've even had some lawyers and communication speakers come to give surrounding entrepreneurs some great advice. For more information about this seminar series, again, there's tons of different topics that are covered monthly. You can contact Linda Greider. She teaches business at Lindsay Wilson College and her email is griderl at lindsay.edu. Just another way the college continues to give back to the community. Really, truly a great seminar series. I've been there myself and I've really enjoyed them. It's a great way if you are starting a small business or you're an entrepreneur to get some ideas. After the break, LWC News Magazine will bring you news from Lindsay Wilson College. Stay tuned. We've always said our, our business plan is unique in the sense that we are a business, but yet we are also a ministry. And as such, we need to present the best possible products that we can. So the best sandwiches that, that we possibly can, uh, the best beverages you know, that we can, you know, and, and recently the Sundays. You know, everything we do, we try to do with excellence, uh, and everything we do has a twist. Over 2,000 colleges and universities in America, and to be a part of a college that has singled itself out. There are, there, you, do you look at the catalogs? You, if you go online and you read their purpose statement, and you just don't find any college anywhere that does for students what uh, Lindsey Wilson does. From driveways to highways, Selby Asphalt Maintenance Incorporated is your total maintenance company. We do it all, specializing in services such as asphalt sealing and repair, crack filling, pavement marking, speed bumps, and curbing. In service since 1993, we have the experience you want to make your pavement look the best. From Paducah to Pikeville, Selby Asphalt Maintenance is your number one choice for your pavement needs. Give us a call today at 270-866-2014 or check us out on the web, selbyasphalt.com.
welcome back to the campus segment of LWC News Magazine. This segment is dedicated to News from the Hill. Well, the excitement for Halloween started early at Lindsay Wilson College with the annual Safe Halloween event. The Student Activities Board sponsored the event with the help of the residence halls, of course, for the Safe Halloween festivities. The dorms get decorated by students for the event, and then families can walk through to view all the decorations while receiving candy. It's like an indoor trick-or-treat. The event brings in many locals and encourages young children to get an inside look at campus life. Many community members enjoy taking their families each year. The event is usually a week or two prior to Halloween. If you missed it this year, make sure to stay tuned for dates in the coming year. They do do it annually and it is a great amount of fun. Well, school spirit and tradition are an important part of the Lindsay Wilson College experience. Homecoming weekend is a prime example of these aspects of the college. Homecoming week took place on October 16th through October 21st with the homecoming game on Saturday, October 22nd at 1.30 p.m. Students, families, and alumni participated in the spirit-filled events throughout the week. I was actually there to take a look at these festivities. Here's a look. For many years, Lindsay Wilson College students, faculty, and alumni have participated in homecoming weekend. Director of Alumni Relations, Randy Burns, feels very positive about the events of this year's homecoming weekend. We, we just had such a great time with homecoming weekend. Uh, some of the things that jump out to me, you know, Friday we had, had a beautiful day for the golf scramble. We were afraid all week long that the weather was going to be terrible, but we had a great day for the golf scramble and we're looking forward to uh, possibly uh, expanding that and growing it a little more next year. Uh, and then Friday night uh, at the alumni basketball game, we had a great turnout for that and, and it was great seeing uh, folks all the way back from uh, the class of 91 with Chris Johnson who came in to compete or to play for the alumni team all the way up until to Brandon Clemens who played on the Blue Raiders last year who played so uh, we, we had a lot of fun with the with the alumni basketball game but one of the big highlights of homecoming for the last couple of years for me anyway has, has been our pep rally bonfire uh, that we dubbed the rally in the valley on Friday night of homecoming weekend we had uh, probably 250 students that showed up. The marching band was there and uh, it was just so much fun and the energy of having the, 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 the football players and cheerleaders and, and uh, it was just a really great experience and I, I just think that that's going to become one of the foundational traditions of homecoming here at the college after, after we've uh, really sort of tweaked it and changed it like we have the last couple of years. Alumni and friends of the college enjoyed several traditional events associated with Lindsey Wilson College homecoming, but with a new twist. And then Saturday was just a wonderful day. We had so many friends of the college and alumni who came back and uh, I got to see a lot of people that I went to school with from back around in the late 80s, early 90s who who got together on campus and they had a great time at the reunion tent uh, before the football game. Uh, that morning early uh, we had the 5K and, and Becca Schmidt did a wonderful job uh, organizing and, and putting that event together. But the, the highlight of homecoming weekend from an alumni standpoint uh, in many uh, in many cases is the alumni awards brunch and we were, we just had such a wonderful event it, it was so so awesome to see Nancy Sinclair honored as a honorary alum of Lindsay Wilson College and then to see uh, Dr. Ricky Farmer and Mr. Bill Mooney from Somerset both honored as the outstanding young alumnus and the distinguished alumnus of the year um, to, to hear their stories about what Lindsey Wilson has meant to them over the years, even now uh, with Mr. Mooney after he's been out of school for a little over 50 years, it's just incredible. And you know, that's, that's the thing I love about my job and I love about homecoming because you get to meet all these people who the college is still so important to them uh, throughout their lifetime. The return of football to Lindsey Wilson College last year added a new dimension to homecoming. And this year was no different with the win over Kentucky Christian University. They, uh, they took care of Kentucky Christian University and uh, moved to 5-2 and two. and so we're just so excited about the job that Coach Oliver and his staff and the team uh, is doing this year. Uh, for people who come back to, to a football game, especially on homecoming weekend who had not been to a game before, they, they just can't believe it uh, that Lindsey Wilson has football. And we not only have football, we have great football. And, and so that, that's so exciting. And it adds so much to the homecoming environment and the atmosphere that we get to provide for our alumni and friends. If you missed homecoming this year, you can join us again next year. 
as the college looks to expand and add new events to the traditions of Lindsay Wilson College. We're looking forward to an even bigger and better homecoming in 2012. We don't have the official date set yet, but once that's set, we'll start getting word out so everyone will know because we want all of our alumni to come back to campus next fall as uh, we celebrate homecoming at Lindsay Wilson once again. It turned out to be a great week once again this year. Sure did. You know, each month, LWC News Magazine has been bringing you the LWC Spotlight. This month, we focus on Ann Streeter and her work at Lindsay Wilson College. Ann is an assistant professor of communication at the college and also assists the Center for Entrepreneurship. I, I started out as a journalist and, and enjoyed being in, in the role of a reporter. But somewhere along the line, I, I switched over into the world of public relations and then spent about 30 years working in PR in various industries, including mostly healthcare. But all along the way, I kept the question I kept asking myself and others was, what really means to have, what does it really mean to have good communication? What's a competent communicator? It turns out it's a very complex question, but it's what took me to my doctoral program at the University of Kentucky. And in that process, I don't know that I came any closer to answering the question in general about what makes good communication. But in my in my dissertation, I did focus on something called the nursing handoff which was what happens between two nurses when they have shift change in the hospital setting, when the outgoing nurse tells the incoming nurse what to expect for the patient that they'll be taking care of. It's a source of a lot of error, and the error is caused by communication problems. So I took that one little snippet and really delved into it to try to figure out what, what it means to have a good competent handoff from a communication perspective. The college is grateful to have Anne. This is her first semester at Lindsay Wilson, and it has been a wonderful new asset. The campus of Lindsay Wilson College is constantly evolving. With the school year, this new buildings and technology are showing up everywhere. But the motto of every student every day continues along with the spirit and tradition of LWC. Sarah Thompson tells us more. To say that Lindsay Wilson College has experienced campus growth in the past few years would be an understatement. The college has expanded by adding buildings, new academic programs, and sports. Director of Admissions Charity Ferguson has served Lindsay Wilson College for 10 years now. She is also an alumna of Lindsay Wilson College and can attest to the phenomenal growth in the past few years. I serve Lindsay Wilson in the capacity, capacity of Director of Admissions and um, obviously I'm a proud alum of Lindsay graduated from here in 2001 and I like to tell people that they could not get rid of me. Um, so I, I was hired as an admissions counselor and I've been with the admissions office for the last 10 years. Um, so it's been a great joy to serve the college in a time of phenomenal growth. I know in the last three years we've experienced phenomenal growth because of, we've added some new programs and that's allowed us to be able to have freshman classes of um, more than 650 students, which is um, you know, a huge jump. Probably um, five years ago, that class was more like 500 students. So it's been great to see um, the difference the, the additions have made to our campus. Although the college has grown, Ferguson also reiterates that the best things about Lindsay Wilson College haven't changed. Along the lines of adding, you know, when you talk about adding new programs and increasing enrollment, enrollment there's always a concern that, you know, maybe the employees, faculty and staff, they may move away from the mission and the tradition um, that Lindsay Wilson was founded on. And I believe that the mission is stronger than ever because with the new programs, with the new facilities, we are able to display and, and live our mission through many more students. So we get an opportunity to, um, you know, live that mission through our faculty and staff. We get a chance to, um, to impact many more lives than we maybe could possibly have done before without the newer programs. I'm Sarah Thompson, Lindsay Wilson College News Magazine. The Women's Studies program at Lindsay Wilson College hosts a brown bag event monthly in the Cranmer Dining Center. It is an open forum series. The discussion is about women in various relationships to various subject matters. In the past, topics have included women in religion as well as women in violence. Both males and females are invited to attend. 
It's usually held during the lunch hour, but you don't have to be knowledgeable in any certain subject area as long as you can provide some real life situations to enhance the discussion. If you would like to participate with the Brown Bag, you can contact Molly Ferguson at fergusonm at lindsay.edu. It really is a great discussion base and it takes place at lunchtime, so if you want to grab lunch and head on over, it's a great place to go. Well, if you're looking for a place where you can find all of the details for Blue Raider Sports, you found it. You certainly have. Coming up next from Lindsay Wilson College, Chris Wells with sports. What the heck am I doing hunting quail with a cannon? Same thing those big national cell carriers are doing in central Kentucky. <laughs> Not getting the job done. Now, Bluegrass Cellular, they're cheaper than national carriers, and they've invested more here so their network works. Glad I put it on vibrate. Hey, hunting quail. Nah, nothing yet. For over 140 years, the Bank of Columbia has relied on two simple yet solid principles. Serve our customers and serve our community. Like a reliable friend you can trust, we're here to meet your needs and expectations. Providing you with services ranging from opening a checking account to financing your dream home or business, we offer the best in banking. Stop in and see why we've been in business since 1866. Like the clock on our building, we always have time for you. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Gaddy Shamrock has been a family-owned corporation for several generations. You can depend on us to deliver quality products and services to the job site. Gaddy Shamrock always makes sure you're getting the best for what you need. No matter if it's sealing a residential driveway, supplying farm line to a customer, or paving a county road, we always keep your safety and satisfaction in mind. Give us a call for all your residential, commercial, and aggregate rock needs. LWC News Magazine welcomes you back to the Blue Raider Sports segment. It's women's soccer season at Lindsey Wilson College. Chris Wells introduces us to the LWC women's soccer coach. That is Drew Burwash for this month's Coach's Corner. LWC News Magazine gives you a first glance at Coach Wells and his team. Thanks, Stephanie. This week's Coach's Corner guest is LWC women's soccer coach Drew Burwash. And Drew's a little bit of a trailblazer. Drew uh, is uh, the first Lindsey Wilson goalkeeper to be inducted in two Hall of Fames, the Lindsey Wilson College Athletics Hall of Fame and the NAI Hall of Fame. He led the very first national tournament team in men's soccer to the national tournament in 1992, and then he's won the first two female national titles here at Lindsey Wilson with the Lindsey Wilson College women's soccer team in 2004 and 2006. Coach, great accomplishment, accomplishments, every one of them. Does one mean more to you than the others? Uh, very difficult question, but but they're all special in, in each and every way, and uh, it's uh, I'm ve I feel blessed. I feel fortunate that I've been able to land at a place like Lindsey Wilson College that has afforded me the opportunities to to be where I am today. So, as a player, couldn't have been more excited. You know, when you when you get inducted to a Hall of Fame, there's a lot of things that go into getting me to that point, and great coaches great players, great mentors, and, and certainly all those people were very special in my life. Um, so it's e each of those, um, you know, winning a national championship in 2004, our first one, and then again in 2006, just great group of girls that were very determined and couldn't have been more satisfied, you know, as a coach at that point in time. Coach Bur or actually player Burwash, uh, had a 44-game career here at Lindsey Wilson, two seasons, had a 0 0.89 goals against average, and had 26 shutouts, which is still tied for the program's all-time lead. Coach, you're uh, an alum of Lindsey Wilson. You're one of three head coaches on our coaching staff that uh, that is an alum. Uh, talk about how special it is to be an alum and, and be a head coach here at Lindsey Wilson. Well, I you know, you, I don't think you ever really think as a player that, you know, you'll get the opportunity to come back and, and coach at, at the school that you played for. So for me, it was extremely special. The most, you know, the important things were, were the people that, that I played with, but also coming back and the people that I now work with were a lot of the people that were going to school here at the same time. So it's, you know, our president does a, does a great job and it's, you know, I just feel, I feel fortunate. I feel really blessed. I've been here for 
almost half my life, <laughs> you know. So coming from New York to Florida to now half my life in Kentucky is, uh, you know, very pleasing. Coach, let's talk about the 2011 uh, Lindsey Wilson College Women's Soccer Team. What has been the key components to uh, this year's team success? Uh, there's there's several factors that go into you know putting a, a quality side together, but these girls have have prioritized what's important to them, certainly in their lives, but also more specifically our team. And and I think it started last spring, um, coming off a uh, a difficult 2010 season. In the spring, we're a much more focused group, committed group, you know, through our fitness and our and our technical training. So that that was the beginning point, and that's followed through with good leadership. From you know, from our seniors and our juniors, um, for the younger girls that have come in. So really, just a just a prioritizing what's important to us, where we want to go, how we want to get there, what we're willing to invest into our program to to make it a successful season for us. Coach, good luck down the stretch. Thank you. That's LWC Lindsey Wilson College women's soccer coach Drew Burwash, and this, he's been our guest on the Lindsey Wilson News Magazine's Coaches Corner. Thanks, Chris. Each month, LWC News Magazine will feature at least one standout athlete. For our November edition, we centered in on a Blue Raider women's soccer player. Chris Wells takes us to the locker room to meet a midfielder on the soccer team. Meet me a person. Thanks, Stephanie, and welcome to the Lindsey Wilson News Magazine's Blue Raiders standout. I'm sitting alongside uh, Lindsey Wilson College women's soccer junior midfielder Mia Pearson from Werbo, uh, Sweden. And... Uh, Mia, first, welcome to our program, and, and secondly, tell us a little bit about your hometown. Well, Fuebu, where I come from, uh, it's a little bit bigger than Colombia. It's about 9,000 um, people living in there. Um, the county itself is a little bit bigger, but it's a nice town. Almost, I know almost everybody, and they know me, and you know, people know each other. Mm -hmm. uh, soccer is the biggest sport, I would say. Um, everybody's following our team, the women's team and the men's team. And I have my family there, my mom and dad, and my brother. And my other brother lives in a bigger town. And my grandma and grandpa and some of my cousins and almost all of my friends. So I really like it there. It's in southern Sweden. Is What would be the temperature there this time of year? Uh, it's a, a little bit colder than here, probably around the 40s. Fahrenheit. <laughs> it's kind of hard, yeah. <laughs> Tell us a little bit, how did you come to Lindsey Wilson? Obviously, Coach uh, Drew Burwash was, was your primary recruiter. Uh, obviously, he came to see you play. Uh, tell us a little bit about coming to Lindsey Wilson. Well, Drew came over and he watched me play and uh, we sat down and talked and he offered me a scholarship. So, there was no doubt that I was not going to take it. So, I chose to come over here and once I came here, I really liked it from the beginning and I uh, loved the girls my first year and they really welcomed me well and Drew and Debbie too so I liked it from the beginning it was very different from home of course my mom and dad was not here and my friends but I made new friends so it was not really a like it was something new but it was a good experience no culture shock a little bit with, <laughs> you know, the food and <laughs> no sidewalks but <laughs> Talk a little bit about, uh, I guess, the best part of being a student athlete here at Lindsey Wilson. I like the fact that I can do what I love to do, which is play soccer at the same time as I get an education. And that is really important because I didn't really know what to do back home in Sweden. And I just thought it was a good idea to come here and get an education while playing soccer, which is the primary thing I do here. So I love that. Speaking of soccer, is there a memorable game, memorable goal that you, you've had in your career now that you're three years in at Lindsey Wilson? Uh, I've had many, many memorable moments here, for sure, both my first year and my second year and this year. Um, a goal that I scored, I scored a goal just a week, two weeks ago against San Galeo, the goal that was one-to-one. -one. It was, I don't know, I came in from the right side and the ball was really close to me, so I just toe poked it, and it went straight up in the, in the upper corner. So it was kind of a lucky goal, but I don't know where it came from. But it was good. It helped the team, but that's what matters. <laughs> Mia, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you very much. That's Mia Pearson, uh, Lindsey Wilson College junior midfielder here on the Lindsey Wilson College women's soccer team, and she's our Blue Raider standout for this month. Well, that wraps up sports and the November edition of the LWC News Magazine. See you every Monday at noon and 7. 
We'll be here covering your community and campus news. Thanks for joining us. I'm Stephanie Tarter with Emily Ramage. Have a great Monday.